Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to have some fun with foiling. And I have here the new Glimmer Hot Foil Kit by Spellbinders. This is a monthly kit. This month you will get this wonderful frame design in three different sizes. I think this is perfect for uh, creating elegant cards. All you have to do is just add a sentiment inside and embellish it with little flowers and you have wonderful cards. And I'm going to share a couple of examples today. Now you will also get three little embellishments. I'm going to create a couple of cards. For the first one I'm using the biggest of the frame plates and I'm going to use this rose gold foil on top of white cardstock. I like to use a little piece of washi tape to secure all those pieces together and then I have my machine ready and warm. I'm going to place this on top. I'll press the button until this uh, light stops blinking. I'm going to to place on top the different plates and I like to use both of them since I want to have an embossed as well as a foiled uh, result. Once the light stops blinking it means that uh, my plate is warm enough, I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and I always like to run it a couple of times. This is going to allow for the plate to press nicely the design and for the foil to stick. So let me peel off the foil and let's take a look at the result. It's really elegant, I have just a tiny bit of overfoiling here, nothing you cannot get rid of with just an eraser. Since I have my foiling machine out, I'm going to create the panel for the second card as well, and then I will turn them both into cards. For this one I'm using the middle size of uh, the blades from the kit, with gold foil this time on top of white cardstock. And while this is warming up, let me show you another set by Spellbinders, which you can get separately. This one includes lots and lots of dies that cut out frames with this beautiful design, and it comes with other little dies that don't actually cut out, but they give a lovely dot finish. I will use it so you can see. However, this set matches perfectly with the plates from the kit. So I'm going to take out a few of them so that I can use them later on to cut out my frames and I'm going to combine them with the plates from the kit. So this is the middle one that I have foiled and here I'm using two dies on the inside and on the outside. This way I created a little die cut, a lovely frame with foil which is perfect to add a sentiment or to nest a focal point. Now I'm going to use the biggest of the dies to cut out only the outside on the other foiled cardstock and now I have two panels ready to go. I'm going to turn both of them into quick cards. So all I did here is to stamp my sentiment. Uh, for that I used a very uh, old uh, stamp set that I got in one of the Spellbinders kits. I don't think it is um, available anymore but any sentiment would match with this design and I also created flowers with dyes from a kit by Spellbinders again which is from last year, also discontinued. But the idea here is to show you the frame and how elegant it looks. I'm sure you all have stamps with flowers or dies that can help you create wonderful flower compositions. Now just for fun, for this card I went with a shade of blue, so you see all my flowers are darker and lighter blue as well as the background. I am sticking some of them directly on top of my panel so they are going to lay flat. For others I am using foam squares just to add some dimension. I also cut out the leaves out of light blue and I have also cut out a couple of leaves from vellum just to add something extra on the card to make the flower composition look fuller without adding too much color there. So it kind of keeps it elegant. To finish off my card I'm going to add a few gems and just because I have blue flowers I decided to go with blue gems as well. Now all I have to do is to stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and here are some close-up photos on the first card for today. These cards with foiling are always so pretty in real life but it's so difficult to catch the shine of the foil in the photos. So let's move on to the second card and here I have again the nestability set and every one of them cuts out the shape but the others uh, create a little line of dots. So this is the one that I'm using here. I'm going to secure it with washi tape, run it through my cutting, die cutting machine and you will see that when I take it out I will end up having a lovely design. I like the fact that it gives you something extra 
on the background, but at the same time it doesn't add too much, so it's not going to steal the thunder of the focal point. So here I have the little frame that I created previously. I have foam screws at the back, I'm going to stick it at the center. And I think that you end up with a very versatile panel that looks really elegant and it's perfect for pretty much any occasion. You can stamp your sentiment on top, you can add any focal point there. I decided to go again with flowers just because I find that they are perfect for any occasion. I'm going to create a little uh, flower cluster on one uh, corner of my panel and add a little die cut hello. Finally, I'm sticking my panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I have a lovely card ready to go. To finish it off, just like always, I just have to add at least one gem. And here are both the cards that I created using this month's Glimmer Hot Foil Kit. Down below in the description area, you will find links to everything I used. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired and I'll see you all next time. 